And to take this conversation further, we are being joined by John Potts from Boston. He is a professor of political science at Northeastern University. Professor Potts, good to see you yet again. Thank you so much for joining us here on Vion. About 80 days to go for U.S. elections. I want to ask you, who do you think has the advantage and is it here to stay? Well, I think, I think uh, Harris has certainly uh, developed some momentum here, quite significant momentum. Now, whether it's here to stay is another story because that's, you know, as you say, we're almost, we're still about three months away from the election and uh, three months is a long time in politics. If you think one month ago, we were in a very different place. Uh, and now we have three months to go. So, but certainly I think um, Harris has some momentum. Right. Now, Donald Trump, it's not surprising to hear controversial statements coming from him, but lately the kind of comments he has been making against Kamala Harris, be that the racial attacks or the personal attacks or the latest one about her crowd being AI created. Do you think that Donald Trump is rattled at the moment? Is that where the comments are coming from? Well, to, to some degree, I suppose he's kind of striking back and, and often the way he strikes back is around individuals and personalities, characteristics of individuals. I'm sure he's getting advice to, to not do that, uh, that his best strategy would be to actually focus more on issues, in particular the economy, uh, the higher prices that uh, people uh, complain about, um, and to some degree immigration. I mean, those are issues that are going to be much better for him. But he does have a tendency to fall back, and particularly when he gets in large gatherings, he often falls back on kind of attacking personalities like IQ, as you noted earlier. Right. Uh, last week, we also saw a poll where actually voters were favoring Donald Trump when it comes to economy, immigration, border control. And these are very, very important issues when it comes to U.S. elections, especially the one we are going to see in November, which is being called one of the most polarizing ones. So do you think, as you said, three months is a long time in politics? Uh, this is something that could actually play in the benefit of Donald Trump. Well, potentially. I mean, the, the Democrats still have their convention coming up. So they may get a little bit of a, a bump out of that. Um, but then I, I think what will be really important will be uh, the, uh, the debates. And they've gone back and forth again, but it, it looks to me like September 10th uh, is staying in as a debate date. That was one that was set before with Biden. And at one point, Trump said he wouldn't do it. But now I think he's saying he will do it. We will see. But I think those debates could be quite interesting because it it will be Trump against someone quite different than Biden. And I think those could po those are probably the, the key events uh, between now and the election that might uh, pose, uh, kind of switch the momentum a little bit. All right, Professor, thank you so much for giving us all those insights from Boston as always. Okay, thank you. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.